What's up guys, Mike here with PatBangers.com today with a follow-up video on my Beatmaker 3 review. You guys asked me so many questions. First of all, let me say thank you for the positive feedback and um, I thought it would be best if I do another short video showing you a little bit of the workflow in Beatmaker 3 and um, uh, try to answer all your questions in a short video. So what we're going to do today is we will use some sounds from the uh, from Beatmaker, we will import some samples from Dropbox. Uh, I will show you how to slice samples and how to edit um, the single sounds. And then I will show you some more effects on the mixer. So we will answer all these questions today. So let's start up Beatmaker 3. New session. And this time I connected the iPad via audio output so I can actually um, play sounds in real time and maybe we just do a little beat don't expect anything too fancy it's just a quick demo video so let's load up the ASR 90s kit that sounds pretty good and let's create a little loop for the beginning so I go to my timeline and I choose a free bar loop loop is already turned on and I just uh, maybe the tempo no, 90 BPM is fine and just hit record. Oops, I made a mistake there, so I have to edit this. And what I do is first I uh, trim this pad a little bit down, double tap on the pattern to enter my MIDI node, and here we are. So that's just fine. So it's that easy to edit MIDI inside of Beatmaker. Let's go back, create a new group. And now let's import a sound to slice. I put something in my Dropbox. So what I do is I go to my sample. Um, I open up my browser. I go to my docs. And then um, you probably can't see this. I have to move it a little bit back. So on the bottom here, you, it says Dropbox Music Library iCloud. You click on Dropbox. It connects to your box. And I go to my mobile folder. And here's my sound. I select it and I just click download and that's it. Now it's in my documents list. So I go back to my samples, I go to browse and I Miami sunset, here it is. load sample and now it's in the sampler and here you can do so much tweaking you get envelopes you can add a filter let's say we want to choose a low pass filter here close it up you can tune it you can saturate it, you can define it as a as a loop or as a one-shot trigger sound. Uh, but we actually want to chop it up a little bit. So when you look at it, you see it's a little bit longer than um, 9 bars. So that means the tempo is not right and probably a little bit too fast. So what we do is we dial down the tempo here until we find the exact tempo. And as you can see, with 115 BPM, it fits the eight bars perfectly. And that's exactly what it says in the file name, 115, so 115 BPM. But that way you can pretty easily find out the tempo of your sound. Um, now let's go to the edit mode. Um, it will close down all the sidebars here. So you have a better view for editing. And you can zoom in really, really nice here to find start and end points. 
and you can really easy tweak the sound and then you can just hit the zoom buttons here also to zoom in and out um, for really really easy editing now what we want to do is uh, we want to slice it so we go on the top right here to the slice mode and now there are different auto settings you can slice in the split view and you can have different splits across the file um, you also could say you can browse for a grid 16th notes one bar half a bar quarter notes stuff like that you can also slice it manually so what we do is we go to the slicing mode and we just add in new slice split. that easy point here oops we undo this this point right here is pretty uneven so what I do is I select this point right here and I say delete slice and here we go and then I select this one right here and make it long As you can see it's super easy to slice up sounds now what when you're done you hit on save and you can select slice to pads slice to single layer slice to multiple layers or save as an apple loop i want to slice this to pads now i choose choke group one so each slice will cut off and uh i keep the current bank i don't want to create a pattern and i hit apply and here we are and we go back Super easy. Record something. to slice a sample now let's go to the mixer page and see what we can do here let's say I want to add a little bit of bit crushing to the sound to give it a vintage effect and I want to do this while you're an aux track so I can also give the snare sound a little bit of that bit crushing so what I do is I click on aux go to go to the effects page and I add a bit crusher here and um, don't do it too extreme Go to 10 bit and maybe 20 kilohertz. And then we just dial this in for the sample bank. That's good. Now we want to add this to the snare as well. Go back. Here's the clap and we just dial in sand one. Pretty good. And now we want to add some compression on the master. And uh, some of you ask if you can load up your own plugins as well and yes of course you can do that so we go to the master go to effects and right on the top it says audio unit or inter app audio effect i click on this i go to audio units and choose my rough rider effect here you can open up the plugin just play <laughs> You can 
also of course add one of the internal effects let's say I want to add a filter here So as you can see, working in Beatmaker 3 is super straightforward, um, very intuitive to use, just like your desktop DAW. If you have worked with Logic, Ableton or Cubase, I think it will work for you right away. There's no learning curve. It's super flat. Um, if you're totally new to producing and you're just starting out, then reading the manual a single time will probably give you enough information to start right away and start jamming and making music so i really enjoy it um again it's coming out on saturday uh the july 15 2017 introduction price will be 19.99 it's for the first seven days after that the price will increase so you better get it quickly and yeah i hope i could answer all your questions now if you have more questions feel free to comment uh, if I find the time, I will answer you or I'm posting more screenshots and show you exactly what you want to know. All right, that's it. MikePatBangers.com. Peace out.